Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to talk about distance control putting tips. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf. And of course, one of the best ways to play better golf is to hit the subscribe button, click on the bell notification, and then you're on your way. So one of the keys to scoring better at golf is getting some control over the distance that you hit the ball with your putter. And it's one of the areas that people really don't practice enough. The average on the US tour for when they hit the ball on a putting surface is 27 feet. Uh, and sorry, the, the best player is at 27 feet. The average is at 33 feet. And that's all distances from the fairway. So if you think about it, if the average on the US Tour is 33 feet when they get the ball on the putting surface, the distance that they really should be practicing a lot of is 33 feet. How many times do you practice putts more than 10, 15 feet? So I think one, this is one of the low hanging fruit that we can really start picking and it's gonna have a dramatic impact on our score. So the keys to having distance control when we putt. The first one is timing and timing is really, really important. And the simplest version of timing, realistically, is if I grab my phone here, I have a metronome. So you can see the metronome going tick tock. It's at 50 beats per minute. And that's about average for a putting stroke. So what I do when I'm trying to practice my stroke is I put that on the ground I don't worry about a ball initially. And I just practice trying to sink my putting stroke to the tick and the tock. If I have a long stroke, it's still 50 beats per minute. If I have a shorter stroke, it's still 50 beats per minute. So if we can work on that without pitting a ball, that's gonna help develop your speed and the rhythm of your putting stroke. So as I'm standing over the putt, in my head, I'm hearing the metronome going tick, tock, 50 beats per minute. And then I just keep that speed in my head when I putt. And I just aimed it too far right, but the distance control is pretty good. If I want the ball to go further, so this time I'm not going to putt towards that hole, I'm going to putt beyond it. I still maintain my same rhythm and timing, but my backstroke will be a lot bigger. My downstroke won't be necessarily because of that uh, collision between the putter face and the ball. So if I maintain that same putting stroke, take it back further, we then produce a putt that rolls out a little bit further. So I think one of the best games that you can play when you practice your putting is to set yourself up so that you're say 10 feet from the hole, 15 feet from the hole, 20 feet from the hole, 25 feet from the hole, and 30 feet from the hole. So I would be putting a tee down in each of those locations. And then using one ball, start at the first one and try and get your ball inside a three foot circle. So you can make a three foot circle out of eight golf tees. And the purpose of that is just to try and get the ball inside that three foot circle. So if we can get better at getting the ball inside that three foot circle from all of those different distances, it's really gonna go a long way towards getting our distance control. So, the other thing, of course, is making sure that we have consistency of contact in the center of the club face. So we do, one of the poorest ways to control distance is to hit the ball out of the toe or the heel of the putter face. We really wanna make sure we've got good contact through there. So a lot of people, when they're putting, they tend to just keep the club face open because they're trying to putt through straight. I, be, I believe that every single putt, the club face rotates through impact and I've tested hundreds and hundreds of golfers and I've yet to see someone that have a, has a dead straight putting swing straight back and straight through. Everyone arcs the putter just a little bit. So on longer putts, I would prefer to see the putter 
slightly closed through impact. Obviously, I'd like it to be at zero, which is nice and square, but a closing putter face is going to help the ball to roll better. An open face adds loft to, to the ball. When you hit it, it's gonna make it jump a little bit. So the more we can get the club face closing through impact, it's gonna give us a little bit of better distance control. And the best putters in existence, you know, the, the one that everyone talks about, and unfortunately I never saw him play, was Bobby Locke. And he used to hook the ball. So he'd have this little close stance and he'd get up there and he'd sort of hook it. And apparently he could just make that ball go in from anywhere. Tiger Woods, when he was putting at his absolute best in, at the height of his powers, he had a very high face rotation through, through impact. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to just hit a few putts just feeling like you're closing. Now, I'm not saying you're going to hit it 10 foot to the left, but you just want to get that little feeling that the, the toe of the putter is turning left through impact, and you'll see that the ball rolls quite nicely, and it works really well on rough greens. You can see that ball rolling end over end over end. So it's a great way of practicing your putting. So there's some keys for you to start working on your long distance putting. As I said, try from five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet, 25 feet, and 30 feet. Try and get them all into the circle. That's gonna help you a lot. Spend some time with a metronome. Free app you can download, and you just wanna get that timing right. Do those things and your long distance putting is gonna really help. Thank you for letting me help with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.